Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing the BoxyCharm vid. Please excuse the fact that my box looks like it's been through a tornado. Uh, it was storming the day that it was delivered and it sat outside my door all day until I got home from work. So unfortunately that's what it's looking like. If you've already seen the past few videos I've done with the BoxyCharm boxes, you already know I'm skipping the whole unboxing part portion of it and I'm just getting straight into the products I got and then I'm doing a quick demo of me applying them and then a quick review on how I feel the products performed and whether or not I believe they are worth the price that is listed on the card. So very quickly, we got the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks, so I'll be using those. I also got the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette, which looks like this right here. I also got the Bang Beauty Gel Eyeliner and that's the box. So here's the actual product itself and it says it's in the color chocolate. Right, it doesn't smell like chocolate or anything. It this This makes me laugh. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see that. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. But the entire bottom portion of it where you think the product would sit is actually empty. And then you only get this amount of product in the jar. So th why even make your jar clear at that point is beyond me because when you hold it up, it looks like there's absolutely nothing in it. But anyway, <laughs> so moving on from there, I also got the Tarte uh, lifted sweat proof mascara mine is in the color what was the color here dark brown I believe is what it was called black brown is what it's called I've actually been wearing this for the past few days already because um, considering the fact that it's supposed to be sweat proof I didn't want to just give it a first impression I wanted to actually use it so that I could actually tell you guys how it performs so I've been using that for a few days and it's been like in the high 80s and 90s so good way to test that out and then last but not no not last but not least excuse me so next up is the Smashbox uh, Be Legendary Pucker Up Lipstick Palette and apparently this palette is the neutral palette so quickly let's pull this sucker out of the box here and see what that looks like. Uh, Alright so you have like this shape shifting holographic cover there that does all this funky stuff so the packaging is nice I'm not a fan of lipstick palettes personally but it is what it is we'll try it out today so these are the colors here they're you know um, in the neutral family but more on like the pinky and rosy side there is a lipstick brush that comes in it and you get a nice size mirror here um, it looks a little foggy because I still have the film covering it and then last but not least is the NCLA Los Angeles treatments so rich vitamin infused vitamin E infused cuticle oil so that's that there and it has a nice little dropper inside to help get the that's actually a small dropper it doesn't reach the bottom of the bottle so you're going to be missing half the product whatever so uh that's what that looks like so oh oh that smells so good oh okay so i'm gonna actually just put that on my cuticles right now because my cuticles could use some leaven so we'll get that going and then hopefully by the end of the video again just give you a quick little how do you do? This smells amazing. Oh, I'm loving that right there. Okay, so I am going to massage this all up into my cuticles and then we're going to get right into the application of all these products and then the ending review. Awkward eye contact moment.
let's just get straight into product review here because um this is a hot mess and i'm sorry about that that was that was my own genius idea to try and use every color that came in the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette because it didn't look like there were that many. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to use the card here and go down the products in the list uh, in the way that they're listed here on the card. And the first thing up is the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. And once again, here's what it looks like. There are no neutral colors to use to... Um, really do anything other than some crazy colorful you know party animal style look which is all good and well <sighs> the only problem is I hate this freaking palette I hate these shadows um, the yellow I guess performed 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 pretty pretty well but uh, it was very muted it wasn't exactly the color payoff that I was expecting so not a whole lot to say about it there the orange actually performed really well uh, the color is exactly as you see it in the pan so that actually ended up looking really pretty um, uh, what is it hangover and karaoke are horrible they first of all hangover which is this one here the dark shimmery purple is very chunky once you dig into the color once you pat it on, the fallout is horrendous. Trying to clean away the fallout is horrendous. So even though I purposely did my eyes beforehand to make sure that I could clean up afterwards and do my foundation and everything else, the fallout is ridiculous. It took forever to clean that off. And as soon as you actually started to blend it in, it was almost like it was erasing itself. It's disgusting. Um, karaoke is a beautiful color, but again, once you start getting it on, the fallout is crazy and I didn't get a chance to really do much blending with it because I did lay it over that black liner to make it stick but just not the greatest color ever damage control a lot of the same um, fallout wise the color is not as vibrant as it looks in the pan once it's on your eyes but it's whatever um, and then bottoms up which is the pink that I dabbed in the center it's okay the glitter is a little chunkier than I would prefer but Either way, this palette is not something that I would go out and purchase even if I wanted something fun full of colors because you have the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette which I wish I had right in front of me right now. And I do. So you have the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette which eh, has very similar colors to what's going on in here. In here, You don't have those types of fallout issues. I've used this palette plenty of times before and I have never had the issues I've had with this one. This is retails for $19. I would not pay $19 for it. Um, I'll probably keep it and hold on to it in case I want to do something like for Halloween or whatever. But as far as just by itself to really use the party palette to go out and create a look, absolutely not. Like I said, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Obsessions, Electric Obsessions palette, I would prefer and I would recommend much more than I would that. Next up is the Tarte Cosmetics Lifted Sweatproof Mascara for $23. I really wish this wasn't $23. It actually is really, really good. I've never tried a dark brown mascara before. I usually like my mascaras to be very, very black, like deep, dark, very black, in your face black. Uh, dark brown. It's nice for a no makeup makeup look or a day where you just want to throw on some, you know, a few swipes of mascara and kind of be out the door. Um, I ended up liking this color a lot more than I thought I would. As far as being sweat proof, it absolutely is. I Like I said, it's been in the high 80s to 90s this past week and I've used it about three days out of the week. And it didn't smudge down to my lower lash line, which is a problem I do have with a lot of the mascaras that I use. It didn't have any of those issues. It did add some nice length to the lashes and it did separate them not so much add volume but that's okay like I said they still looked very pretty with the length that it added and for the color that it was not waterproof though don't confuse sweat proof with waterproof not waterproof I fell asleep with it one night and totally forgot and the next day went to take a shower and wondered why the hell I looked like I had stuff just like streaking down my face and I'm like oh snap I never took the mascara off so definitely not waterproof but sweat proof it for sure is and it's just a really nice color $23 though I would not recommend spending $23 on a mascara again they run out so fast they they dry out so fast and there's so many um much more drugstore affordable options that really do amazing things to your lashes that you don't have to spend $23 so do I like it a lot I do will I finish using it absolutely but would I ever spend $23 to repurchase absolutely not 
Moving on from there is the Smashbox Be Legendary Pucker Up Palette, which this amuses me a little bit because actually I get the um, information for the uh, House of Lashes option which I didn't get I got this but it gives me the you know information add length and dimension to your makeup with your new favorite lashes and it's like yeah I didn't get that but anywho so it says that this retails for $24 this is absolute crap as well um it took me this is getting all over my aligners that's not good <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right so even though I use the matte colors they aren't budge proof, that's for sure. <laughs> um, gets all over your teeth and or aligners, whatever's in your mouth at the moment. I had to dig into those suckers to really get any kind of color payoff whatsoever. And then I had to mix two of them to get anything to show because I just looked dead. Like, I did make myself look very pale because I was trying to make the colors in my eyes stand out. It's a little paler than usual. But these colors should have stood out a lot more considering the fact that I had already made myself so much paler. And that did not happen. I had to dig into it a lot. I had to mix colors just to make it happen. And as you can see, they're just, they're getting everywhere. And I did use the matte colors that come in here. And yeah, no, this is, ugh, I can't stand lipstick palettes for that reason. And this says, I'm not sure if the $24 really does apply to this or if that would have been for the House of, I don't think House of Lashes lashes are that expensive though. But if this is really $24, absolutely not. I wouldn't pay $4 or $2 for it. This is no, no, no and more, no. Uh, moving on from there is the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks retailing for $13. No. Absolutely not. I did one patch on one eye because I wanted to show if there was a difference and how it would be comparable to the eye that hadn't been treated at all. And it did absolutely nothing. The bags were still there. The darkness was still there. It didn't do anything. The whole gold foil thing is supposed to be so innovative and all that. And it did absolutely nothing. I kept it on my eye for the 15 minutes. If you've been here on my channel before, you already know I always opt to go the longest amount of time possible when using products that are timed because I find that that really helps give it its best chance and it still did absolutely nothing for me. Next up we have the Bang Beauty Chocolate Eyeliner. Now I was reading the card as I was sitting waiting for the Wanda Beauty time to be up and it says you can use it as an eyeliner, eyeshadow base, or even to touch up your brows. This creamy chocolate tone pomade is the ultimate triple threat. That's a lie. It's crap. Okay, um, I used it here with this brush, and as you dig into it, it chunks up a lot, okay? And I've never seen any pomades or any creamy products really chunk up like that. And then once you go to put it on, that is not a chocolate brown color. And it only you can only see it because I really made it thick and got it on there. But as you're trying to line your eyes... You don't really see much of anything. Like, it fades away. It's a lot harder to try to do on the eyes. And, yeah, trying to use that in my brows was just a mess. Like, I much... My, I, my brows are all over the place. But <laughs> I much prefer a pencil. I've used other pomades that do not give me these types of issues. Um, but, yeah, you can get so many... So, $22 for this? $22? Like, I think absolutely not. It is not chocolate. It is this taupey color. And that's just, no, it's, no, 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 and no some more. Um, and last but not least, the NCLA So Rich Lollipop Lollipop Cuticle Oil Cream. I, um, cuticle oil, period. There's no cream. Don't know where that came from. I like this. Um, my cuticles actually do, because I had just done my nails before I did the video, so my cuticles were looking very dry and, like, run over, like they had been fouled over and everything else, so um, they needed some loving. And the lotion I put on apparently was not cutting it. This oil, though, they already look so much better. You cannot tell that they had been filed over or that a cuticle cutter had been used or anything. They feel a lot softer and it smells amazing. And this says it retails for $18. I could see that. I could actually see that. I think it is worth $18. Um, that's a lot of product because you're not using a ton of it. You're using, you know, what, not even a drop because what I did was I just pulled the dropper out and then just kind of slid it across each of my cuticles and then began to massage it in. This is going to last me forever and I do my nails every two weeks. 
so you figure you know I'll be using this maybe like once twice a week just to keep my cuticles from looking all dry and cracked and everything so $18 I would totally pay $18 to repurchase this I definitely think it's worth it and that brings us to the end of all the list of products um I'm not very excited with this month's box at all i think boxycharm is so focused on this new boxy Lux thing that they have coming out that this box for some reason seems very thrown together like not too much thought went into any of this um i don't know maybe that's just me i, I just especially with that laura lee palette thing because the alamar palette which is right here I've talked about this so many times before and this came in a boxy charm and talked about how amazing it is, how much I love it and I still do. So to be so disappointed with this Laura Lee palette, this is just, mm, nah, I don't even want to bash it anymore. I'm just going to leave it at that. So if you have any further questions about any of the products that I mentioned, please feel free to leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. If you haven't already, please comment, rate, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say that was really weird. All right. You all have an amazing rest of the week and wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.